Mike Allen from Chicagoland here, and as you can probably tell from the lion guarding the entrance to the art museum, I'm in downtown Chicago this morning. I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on the channel and kind of what my plans are going forward. So please come and join me. Let's get started. Walking along Michigan Avenue on this what's turning out to be not too bad of a Sunday morning weather-wise. It's uh, supposed to get much hotter later in the day. So I thought I'd get downtown Chicago before the crowds start uh, gravitating towards the city here and before the weather got any hotter. Crown Fountain here inside Millennium Park. This is actually the first time I've ever actually stepped foot over in this area. I've never gone to visit these really touristy sites before. My first time stepping foot over by this fountain. And this is a big tourist attraction here in Chicago. So I've been at YouTube now for probably about two years. Um, probably started filming regular videos every week for a little over a year now. And I'm just uh, been thinking about what direction do I want to take the channel. And as of right now, I think I'm going to take a break. I think I need to take a break from regular uploads got some family obligations coming up here you know I, I am married I do have two kids at home and definitely want to spend more time with them going forward uh, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop filming videos I do plan to post some you know videos and more content in the future but as far as weekly uploads I think I'm gonna be taking a break and part of that reason also is I don't do this full-time I do have a job. I don't make any money off of YouTube. My channel isn't monetized. Hopefully that'll happen someday. It's not a big priority of mine, but if it happens, it'll be nice. I guess what I'm uh, trying to say is, is that I want to focus more on family, but also with regards to the channel, I'd like to try to focus on some topics that I'm really passionate about. And I feel like if I can maybe do six to ten videos a year rather than 50, that will allow for better content. It's the other side of the fountain here. The reason I started thinking about this is because, you know, I can't just get up and, you know, travel to... New York City or Los Angeles where you know I can certainly find a lot more content to film that interests me I'm very locked into just the Chicago area and you know being that this is the third largest city in the country there's plenty of content to film but not all of it is very interesting to me I feel like a lot of the content I've already filmed is uh, stuff that I'm definitely interested in but I feel like I'm gonna run out of content pretty soon now, there have been times I have been able to do some traveling. You know, I just got back from Pigeon Forge. Um, did a trip to uh, Iowa and St. Louis uh, last year. But uh, those are really few and far between. I don't really have an opportunity to get out and travel as much as I would like. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. I've got, you know, got priorities here in the Chicagoland area that, uh, you know, keep me busy. Those that have seen Adventures in Babysitting will recognize that diamond-shaped building there. Seen in the climactic uh, scene in the movie. Well, this is unfortunate. It looks like Cloudgate, or the Bean, is undergoing some construction work. They got this all blocked off, so you can't go up and touch it. Yeah, it looks like this is about as close as we're going to get to the Bean today. It's a lot of people around this morning for 7.30, taking their pictures and video. This has kind of become a iconic piece of artwork for Chicago. If you're a tourist coming to the city, this is one of the first stops people come to. And if you are a tourist visiting the Bean, they do have some stations here where you can get some Italian beef, pretzel, fountain drinks. So as I was mentioning earlier, yeah, I feel like a lot of the stuff that I've 
you know, shown you guys already in and around the Chicagoland area, stuff that I'm very passionate about, very interested in. But I'm also finding that I'm eventually going to run out of things to show you. And I feel like it's time to narrow my focus down and start focusing on things that, you know, really interest me. I'd like to like to try to do more filming locations. I'd like to do some uh, deep dives into history. You know, Chicago has plenty of uh, movies that were filmed here and still plenty of history to cover here. But I feel like if I can, you know, trim my content down to just, you know, a few videos a year, that'll give me a lot more time to really focus on, you know, doing a lot of deep research, give better quality content, and also, you know, focus on things that I'm really passionate about in the process. And I just feel like all around, that's a win-win for both me and my channel and you, the viewer. Here's the Pritzker Pavilion inside Millennium Park. I have seen a few shows here before, back when I was a lot younger. It's all lawn seating here. I do enjoy Millennium Park. This was all just a train yard when I was a kid. This all came about within the last um, 20 years or so. Overlooking the pavilion is the Aeon Building, which I believe is the second tallest building in Chicago, right behind the Sears slash Willis Tower. So to give you an idea, here's the pavilion and a much better shot of the bean right here. Some people still taking pictures of it. I guess I'm guilty of that too because I'm sitting here filming. And yes, I have made fun of tourists who come and visit this place, so I guess I don't have room to talk now. I've mentioned Anthony Bourdain on my channel many times. He's somebody that uh, I definitely was inspired by. I watched his TV show, No Reservations, back in 2008. He uh, came to Chicago and did an episode of that show. And Bourdain called Chicago the only other real city in America behind New York. Now, I've never been to New York. I've been to a lot of other uh, cities in America. I've been to San Francisco, been to LA, been to uh, Dallas, Fort Worth. But yeah, I, I would, I kind of see what he was getting at there. Chicago definitely has a, has a vibrancy to it that, uh, that you don't really, you know, see in other cities. It's hard to really describe and explain that, but I do get where he was coming from when he made that statement. Also looking down from the Aeon building is Wrigley Square, which you notes know, the founders of Millennium Park, people that helped make this area possible. Continuing to make our way north along Michigan Avenue here. This here is probably one of my favorite spots in Chicago, corner of Wacker and Michigan Avenue. It's precisely because of these two buildings here. Got the old Tribune Tower and then the Wrigley Building. Yeah, Chicago does have some amazing architecture. In fact, you could take a tour on a boat ride along the Chicago River where an expert can give you some insight about the architecture and the history behind that here in the city. But the only perspective I could give you though is that uh, these two buildings, the Wrigley Building behind me and then the former Tribune Tower. They were both featured uh, prominently in the Tom Hanks movie Road to Perdition. Yeah, I remember. I was downtown back in around 2000, I think it was. The movie came out in 2001. Road to Perdition was being filmed here and a bunch of production trucks and camera crew. Didn't see Tom Hanks though, but did see a lot of commotion down there in the front entrance of the building. Actually, I checked and Road to Perdition came out in 2002, so I was a year off. Looks like the Tribune's name is still on the building. I don't know, I haven't read the Tribune in years since they put it on gated content on the website. This statue talks about one of the founders of Chicago. Jean-Baptiste Pointe du Sable, 1745 to 1818. In the 1770s, he opened the first trading post beside the Chicago River, establishing the settlement that eventually became Chicago. There's the Chicago River along the Wrigley Building. This section of the river gets uh, dyed green during St. Patrick's Day every year. In fact,
fact this was a, another filming location for a movie that's currently celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. No spoilers, but that is going to be the focus of uh, my next project coming up here. So stay tuned. So that yellow boat down there is the Chicago Water Taxi. If you want some cheap entertainment, just a ride on the Chicago River for a low price, I would highly recommend the Chicago Water Taxi. You can pick it up over by uh, Union Station and Ogilvy Station. You're taking the train in and then it goes all the way to Navy Pier, which is in that direction. One of my favorite features of the city of Chicago is the elevated train that loops around downtown Chicago. How often does the train go by? So often you won't even notice it. Those of you that caught that movie reference, it's another project I wanna focus on here. Maybe not in 2023, but 2024. I did a lot of research on that particular movie realized it was gonna take a lot of time to catch all the filming locations so more to come on that hoping, hoping to bring you that video sometime in 2024 another filming location from the movie that I mentioned earlier but didn't say its name. Those of you that have seen Perfect Strangers, this was in the opening where Larry and Belky came walking up the steps of the red line and crossed the street to go to the Chicago Theater right here on State Street. Back along Michigan Avenue now and just kind of taking in the vibrancy of the city. It's about an hour later and walking around, taking things in. Don't really get downtown much, so this has been a enjoyable morning. Just kind of showing parts of the city that I enjoy visiting. I'll also kind of giving an update on my channel. I'm gonna head over to Grant Park here, and that's where we'll end the video. The iconic symbol of Grant Park, Buckingham Fountain. Those of you that have watched Married with Children will recognize this shot here. Thought this would be a great place to wrap things up. So yeah, going forward, hoping to do a lot more movie location videos and some deep dives into American history here in Chicago. Also hoping to maybe just get on a plane and visit a couple other cities when the time and the finances allow. That's kind of the plan going forward with this channel. Probably see about Oh, I don't know, maybe six to eight videos a year to start out with. And maybe if there's time, I could do more down the road. But I feel like it's now the perfect time to start cutting back, spend more time with my family, while also just putting a little bit more effort into each individual video. That's kind of the rationale behind why I'll be slowing down here. But I really appreciate those that have uh, subscribed, those that have watched my videos over the last two years. Really, really appreciate it. Not going away. Just taking a hiatus and a break. Hoping to have my next video out sometime this fall. So please do hit that like and subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when a new video does come out. And with that, this is Mike Allen from Chicago Land signing off from the city of Chicago. I'll be back this fall with another video. But until then, don't you go changing. Goodbye for now, Chicago. See you in a couple months.